Hi Max, so where are we today? I'm at Thorpe Park. We're at Thorpe Park. And why are we at Thorpe Park? Because I'm telling us to go on the rides. Awesome. Let's go. Yay! Go on then, lead the way. Taking kids to theme parks these days can be a bit of a chore. When that kid has ADHD, autism, PDA, ODD or anything else you can name, those days out can be more of a task than normal. You know Max, he's great, but he can have his off days. And taking kids with his conditions to places like these can be very emotionally draining or just end up being a complete waste of time and money. Imagine turning up in the queue times of 45 minutes to an hour. When you've got a kid with you who can't stay still for more than 10 minutes, you're going to have a bad time. Thankfully, places like Thorpe Park, Chesington, Legoland, Drayton Manor and others are recognising issues that parents of children with special needs have and have systems in place to help. Due to his issues, Max is entitled to something called a wide access pass, which allows them and up to three carers who get in free for that reason, meaning it can be only five to ten minutes from joining the queue to getting on the wide. Now, this isn't queue jumping, it's just avoiding the queues, and there is a difference. With Thorpe Park, you have to pre-register for an access pass, where you have to provide evidence of eligibility. This can be a disabled blue badge, proof of higher rate DLA, incapacity benefit books, attendance and allowance, recognised assistance dog ID card, or just a letter from your GP, which is what we had. Now, our letter wasn't that complicated, it was just a couple of lines, and all it said was that our kid can't queue. And your GP should be able to provide it free of charge, or for a minimal charge. I think ours was about a fiver. On arrival, you need to head to the accessibility office and show them your pass acceptance number. The first time you visit, you get a pass card and a wide access pass. This has to be handed to each employee at each ride's entrance. You will then write on the pass the next available time you can enter another ride's queue. Depending on the time of day, this can be for anything from 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how busy the park is. So while you might not have to queue as long, you will still have to wait. That's how they make it fair, and that's fair enough. So what's the first step? The quickest way I've found is just to Google the place you want to visit and add accessibility. This should take you directly to the relevant part of your website where you'll find all the info on the subject. Once you have all the information together, scan everything and email it across to the park and they should get back to you very shortly. We applied in the off-season, so our response took less than a day. If you're accepted, every eligible person is allowed to bring up to four carers with them who can enter free of charge, but herein lies a small exploit. In a lot of cases this may be needed for the less ambulatory or severely disabled, but this can be mildly abused. I won't go into details, but a couple of groups we saw on the day basically got in on a freebie. And the minimum age to be classed as a carer is 14. But when you see three lads largely ignoring the qualifying young gentleman they dragged along to get in, it makes you feel as if the rules could be tightened up a bit. But still, for the large part, it saved a day that could have been lost in tantrums, mood swings and general frustration. Long waiting periods can be very grating, especially if you're on a budget, but at least there's plenty to see and do to fill in the gaps. You may or may not be dragged onto ride after ride after ride, leaving you broken and with bruised clavicles. Then there's a the shopping and leaving the car park, after which there's another two hour drive home down the M20, which is also a pain thanks to Operation Brock and having to fight your way through traffic. And don't get me started on the price of fuel at motorway service stations, then your kid wants to pee 30 seconds after you've re-entered the motorway and you can't stop. And then he says he wants a burger to come on the way home, and then you've got the smart motorways. I mean, whose idea was it to remove all the hard shoulders? And another- <laughs>